Happy birthday. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> the big, what, 41 now? Yeah, 37. 37. You want to tell everybody the plans for today about how you and mom are just completely ditching me? Oh, yeah. So there's a restaurant in, I think it's Newburgh. It's like a top rated place. So hardly ever can get into it. So we're going to go to the Painted Lady. And then we have a hotel right by there, the Ellison. Get the hell away from Matt. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. Just take it up. Uh, we need to go to Costco. I've got like coupons for... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to finish your Costco coupon talk? Well, I just, you know, like, just, we should just go to Costco and do some paper products and stuff like that because I've got a coupon. Wouldn't that be fun on your birthday? Woo, that would be. So anyway, today is really like my rest day. I've been running a lot. I've been ramping up the speed. You saw that leg workout that I did the other day. I just want to give a full 24 hours of doing absolutely nothing to let the legs really rejuvenate before I hit them hard again and really ramp up the speed even more, do longer runs, and then even do a little bit more of a training session, which is all tomorrow, which you'll see in this video. I want to film today though because so I, one of the biggest questions and requests I get is to show my rest day. And it's just, I always think it's so boring because my rest day is just me hanging out on the couch and maybe going to run some errands and just chilling. <laughs> so, I mean, I'll show it a little bit, but get ready for the most intense, crazy gym session that you guys will ever witness. So we went to Mother's Bistro and had a little bit of a cheat meal, but it's okay. It's okay. You can, you can do that. I you said cheat. <laughs> no, a cheat. <laughs> the workout was all just stretching mobility work, and then I just went in the sauna and steam room. I feel loose. I feel relaxed, you know? So hopefully tomorrow I feel good enough to do a full actual workout and training session. So I know I'm going to get this question about steam rooms and saunas. I just did it because it was really relaxing. The science behind it, it really doesn't remove toxins. If you ever heard that it removes toxins, that's false. If you heard that it helps with weight loss because you sweat more, at that moment it does, yes, but as soon as you drink a glass of water, you're gonna absorb all that water back into your system. So it doesn't aid in helping speed up weight loss in the longer term. And it really doesn't have much effect other than just like a therapeutic relaxing effect. And so if you like a steam room, you like a sauna, you think it feels good, then do it. But a lot of the uh, benefits of saunas and steam rooms are kind of overplayed. And this is pretty much what I'll be doing for uh, the rest of the day until about dinner time. I'm finishing up the edit about surprising Mimi down in California. I'll be editing this video a little bit more. I have like 50 something emails I get a day now so I kind of responding to this a lot of the emails I get especially for my league challenge members I want to work on my football or physique program and then I'm just doing customer service normal stuff also what do you guys think of my like janky setup it's so hard to like get a real because I want like a full desktop with a big computer and a full editing thing but I travel so much for my job <laughs> So I just finished Mimi's video, The Surprising Mimi Down in California. I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. It's a very different style than I usually do, but I think Mimi's really gonna like it. She's just done so much for me. And, you know, I mean, flying down there for a weekend really doesn't make up for the fact of what I've put her through traveling everywhere, but I, it'll help a little bit. <laughs> so since for breakfast, I pretty much had all carbs and fats, I'm really trying to up the protein, trying to get this 200 grams of protein. So. I'm gonna have two scoops of plant-based protein powder and then a bowl of, oh, that was so dumb. I wanna have a bowl of tuna, half a bowl of tuna. I remember I got emailed about a month ago. Someone was like, Matt, I really wanna get into this protein. I really want to start building a better body. I wanna be in a caloric surplus, but I just don't lie on full. Uh, I'm not hungry. I don't like how a lot of the protein rich foods taste or the healthy foods taste. The truth of how it is, it's like I don't really enjoy drinking this plant based protein powder and a bowl of tuna. But I think I kind of just treat food as numbers to achieve my goal instead of looking at food as enjoyable. And I know that might sound kind of bad and kind of like that's not the way to live your life, but that's honestly how I view food. I love ice cream, I love sweets, I love french toast as you saw this morning 
but but I just know that if I eat that or if I don't eat enough or if I don't eat enough protein, I'm not going to get healthier. I won't build and maintain the muscle. I won't have glycogen in my muscles to perform. And so it's just all a numbers game for me. And I mean, maybe when I'm retired with soccer, I'll really start enjoying food. But for now, this tuna and this protein shake will, will have to do. Mm, 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 mm. So like I said, I just hung out on the couch. I took a little nap, I watched some TV. Now it's about six o'clock at night. I'm about to head down to my sister's place to make some organic, nice tacos that are still gonna not be the healthiest. So I'm gonna head down there. I'm not gonna bring the camera, but uh, I'll just see you guys when I get back, probably. <sighs> so this is just how life works, I guess. Yesterday when I took my rest day and I didn't do anything really, it was beautiful, like 65 degrees outside, sunny, no clouds, nothing. Today I'm like, yeah, I'm finally gonna train outside. It's gonna be a great day, blah, blah, blah. It's now raining and disgusting outside. <sighs> That's just how it works. So just after one mile at a nine mile per hour speed, after taking the seven months off, I was dead. I thought I was gonna throw up. I had to pull myself out. I sat next to the toilet for a little bit because I just felt so sick. But after about five minutes, I got back to it, but I just have a lot of work to do. Lincoln High School and I've been training at this field since I was about 13 years old so over 12 years now I remember coming here the summer before my freshman year and doing the tryouts to try to make junior varsity I remember playing my varsity games here scoring goals here I trained here before I went over to Germany I trained here in between my seasons from Orange County to st. Louis I mean I, I've trained here for a decade, over a decade, and it's just crazy just to continue doing the same exact stuff that I've always been doing, the same drills, putting in the same work, and you know, and just how much, how far I've grown as a player, it's really cool to reflect on that. And I think I was gonna post, I don't know if I've posted this yet, or I'm going to post this soon, this quote about where it's like reflecting on how far you've come. And the quote is, remember when you wanted what you currently have. And that quote definitely rings very true, being at this field, just, thinking back to when I was 13 and how bad I just wanted to make the varsity team. And I remember once a couple USL deals fell through back in early 2015 and I remember just wanting so bad just to train with the USL team. And I remember before I went over to Germany, I just wanted so bad just to make like, to sign a contract. I just wanted anything just to sign a single contract. It's just crazy to reflect back on all that. But let's get into it before it really starts to rain.
So that's it for the training session. I mean, I felt really good. I just don't want to overdo it. I was going pretty pretty decent pace. I started off very slow, tested it, felt great, bumped it up a little bit, and towards the end I was going about 80% speed. So, and it felt really, really good. I just think it's it's just weak and it doesn't have that endurance yet. It feels so good to be back though. Woo! And I'm I'm out of shape. I'll see you guys in the next video.